to help with air. You know, get get this other bridge built. I'm, I'm a fan of a third bridge. Get traffic moving. When you're sitting in traffic, that's what causes the pollution. You gotta get the traffic moving. Um, you know, we can thin, thin our forests. You know, Skamania County is 90% timberlands, 90%. And those trees are choking each other. So they're not doing their job. You got, you know, your little trees to your 30 year old, 40 year old trees are the ones that clean the air. Anything bigger than that, you know, kind of like us, doesn't do its job. So it, the forests need to be thin. We need to keep a rotation of crops going, of trees, because that's what they are, is a crop. And in turn, it provides jobs at mills and on down the line. Um, it's, you know, and, and then the cap and trade. Um, that, I hope, I want to talk more with you guys on that, and I hope it is entirely different than what they're trying to pass to the south of us. If not, we're in trouble because that's going to raise the cost of everything. Um, you know, fuel, that 25 cents you were talking about, if the cap and trade goes in, in Oregon, it was another 28 cents a gallon. So everything is getting so cost prohibitive, when is enough enough? And, you know, when... When do we start managing things correctly? You know, the money that's going to be raised from, from the cap and trade and the different taxes, is there legislative oversight on how it's spent? Or is it just a governor, you know, slush fund that we can put wherever we want? You know, that's, that's what the people are saying that are paying the taxes, that are, you know, being taxed to death, is enough is enough. You know, I want to add on to that, and it's, I think it's especially true in this area of my district, and I will say also in Ridgefield. Um, I have found people don't mind paying taxes if they see value and benefit for what they're paying. The problem is right now, um, there's a lot of concern that they're not really seeing any benefit. There's a lot of concern about that, and I think that that's part of our job is to help to rebuild that trust and that faith. You know, we're gonna have some kind of special tax that everybody would know what they're paying taxes for. It would keep our roads up. It would help us to, you know, have more new infrastructure because we're a growing area. People love this area and they're coming in. And you're right that if people know what they're paying taxes for, they go, okay, I'm all right with that. And they can vote on it as it comes back up, if there's you know a sundown provision or a grandfather provision or whatever, but I mean these are things where as adults we need to talk about this stuff and say it is important that you know maybe his job will suffer, but maybe kids won't have asthma. So where do we balance that? How do we get him help for his job, but keep the kids healthy? Because I know asthma was not in my generation that was not as big a concern as it is now. It's horrendous. So, you know, we've got to address this stuff as the grown-ups, you know. Well, I think the point there, too, I think we recognize that the gas tax revenue will keep going down and the need for roads and maintenance won't. Um, I think the big concern that, that I have especially is that if we find a replacement source of revenue, that's okay. We don't need to compound additional revenues while keeping the ones that we still you know, have, right? We don't need to double down, I guess, so to speak. So I think those solutions are what we have to look for. I mean, if we don't, that pot's gonna run dry sooner rather than later as far as road construction and maintenance is concerned. <laughs> but I think absolutely, that is what the adults have to do is figure it out. Let's just make sure we're taking in what we need and not taking it to be punitive, I guess, is the point I'm trying to get at. There is a point where, where no matter what the new tax is, it will be too much. Mm -hmm. There's a point where we just can't afford any more taxes. I think there's, there, you know, and this is kind of a general statement, but generally, I think it would be a, behoove us to take a look and see if we can't save a dollar or two on something. Um, your issue about roads is absolutely spot on. As we stop picking up gas taxes, the roads then that will have been supported by those that uh, they will continue to deteriorate. So we need to. We need to understand that a little bit more. 
where we get those funds is kind of the, the other side of the discussion. Uh, can we save some money somewhere in this vast machine we call state government to, to truly support some of those things? Um, it's an issue that we talk about periodically, but, but it seems that our, our government continues to grow and grow and we don't really achieve much. So, uh, your, your point is, is well taken. Well, you know, the population is growing as well, so you have to address the issues that that yeah. brings with it. And, you know, I mean, not to be rude, but you guys ran that you could do this, and we're looking to you not just to listen, but then to take it back and talk with people with whom you may not disagree, you may not agree, you know, and really work it out, hammer it out, and go, if we give you this, what do we get back? So that the roads are kept up because believe me I grew up in a rural area of Wisconsin we had dirt roads for the most part and I don't want to go back nobody wants to go back to that 